the story is that you awaken an expansive musical realm in this nonviolent and poetic platformer. In Symphonia, you'll use the power of your violin coupled with your, coupled with your platforming skills to gather an orchestra to bring the musical machinery of the world back to life. So basically, you gotta get the band back together to save the world. That sounds like an interesting movie premise, actually. <laughs> I just, I love the look of this starting screen. And everything in this backdrop looks to be musically themed. There's along the sides there, on the columns, there, those look like, are those clarinets? And then there's piano keys that are basically the curtains. There's obviously the violin clock. Bunch of mouthpieces in the background there too. And what looked like percussion on the right side and some trumpet bells in the background. And obviously the sheet music on all over the place. It just looks, it looks really nice. And such, such an attention to detail. All right, anyway, let's go. I know I have to do some reading here. There were once four prodigious musicians who gave birth to a place of legends. Symphonia, a mythical realm where music gives life and allows wonders to arise. For a while, the founders and their orchestra fueled the realm in music, and all was good. But discord strikes even in paradise, and thus a catastrophe happened. The founders vanished, and as the rest of the musicians parted ways, the realm slowly fell into silence. One day, an automaton discovers a relic of the ancient times. Incredulous, they start to believe. Guided by hope, they travel where it all began, and soon... Dot dot dot. Oh, were those skulls? What was... This is the automaton. That is a neat looking bow. And I hope this... I hope this doesn't in actually involve, like, <laughs> reading music. I'm very bad at that. But yeah, everything in terms of decoration, it has some theme of a musical instrument somewhere. And I, I think that's really neat. Really creative, really well done so far. The world of Symphonia and its prodigies. Where are they now? So, according to this, I'm currently playing Masked Man, who I'm guessing is Philemon. Or Phil Lemon. I'm going to go with Philemon. And then there's three other players. And we have to find them. And then get the band back together. It does say that you have to... That you get to play concerts. And I'm wondering how that's done. Be interesting. Now... Hang on one second. This is going to bug me. Because I've... I want to say... Hang on. I want to look something up first before we continue. Just bear with me. Because that automaton dude looks a little familiar. Kind of looks like a little bit like uh, the pictures that you've seen of Beethoven. And I'm wondering if that's who it's based on. I think so. I'm not sure. Could be. Could just be like an amalgam of different composers. Anywho. So this is our dude. Whee! And it's kind of neat. Every if you look closely, anytime he moves and there's lines behind him, there's five like music staff lines. <laughs> I think that's a neat little detail. So this looks like a grand performance hall, and there are things moving in the background. They weren't skulls. They looked like dolls or something. Hmm. I can't get back up here. Well, let's see what we can do. Bumpers do nothing. Whoa. That was... 
So left and right trigger do that. And it sounds like it's his bow hitting the ground and it's causing you to jump. But we can also jump with... Which, if you're on a... Um, well, if you're on a DualShock controller, it's going to be X. But if you're on a, um Xbox controller, it's going to be A. That's one jump. And then we have this one, which is different. So we have two jump buttons. Okay, there's that. So if you hold the, uh, again, on Xbox it's Y, on PlayStation it's going to be Triangle, he plays a little ditty. I, you know, I'm sorry, I could, I could listen to that all day. <laughs> so, what is... Oh. Oh, that's kind of neat. <laughs> this is, this is a really fast way of getting around. Holy crap. Oh, we still can't get up that way. Man, you can really book it across with this. What is this? Is this something? Hmm. All right. Oh, it's, uh, it's dude. Automaton. He's pointing towards... I can't move yet. There we go. He's pointing towards this thing. So let's interact with it. Pressing up. Playing the violin. Press Y to play the violin. Okay, well, we already know how to do that. Oh, okay, so it's a way of, is it allowing me to open this? So occasionally you'll have these little um, speakers. I'm not sure exactly what these are called, but we play the violin into them and it unlocks things, I'm guessing. Let's see. Oh, okay. What's he pointing at? Not very big on words, are you, pal? Oh, man. Hmm. So why is that all... Why is all that happening? Just because we... played a little bit of music? Is that what they mean? Maybe that is what they mean. That you're slowly starting to rebuild the world through music. But, again, looking at, at the detail, you see all of the... Eighth notes in the in the background, very like just they're a little bit out of focus, very deep in the background. Oh man, this looks like this is absolutely stunning. Kind of reminds me of um, it reminds me of Constance a little bit, and just the level of detail that's gone into the backgrounds and just the artwork in general. I want to see him go around with like a much larger musical instrument. Like you've got to play a tuba or maybe like a, I don't know, a contrabass flute or something like that. Something massive. A bassoon. <laughs> that would be funny. See him kind of lumbering around with that. I mean, it would make platforming a little difficult, but... Even just like a baritone saxophone would be funny. Ah, press right trigger to poke with your violin bow. Oh, okay, that's what we were doing. That's how we were moving so quickly. Pressing it near the ground makes you bounce high in the air. Oh, so, okay. So we can actually, let's, let's test this out here. So if I jump, that takes me up pretty high, higher than just pressing the right trigger on its own. Okay, so that's good to know. When you're playing a precision platformer, you need to know all of the intricacies of movement. Now, 
I have to check and see if there's something down here. The camera's not following, so I'm assuming no. Well, let's just make sure. Nope. We died. Okay. So that's what happens when we die. We just reset. That's cool. Oh, we got sharp, spiky things. Don't need to worry about those. My Mega Man training has been paying off. Oh, by the way, if you are just joining, you can always join me on Mondays. As long as my stream is working properly. Monday, 8 o'clock, I play the Mega Man X series. Right now I'm on X5. But I've completed all the way up to that. And X5 I'm probably going to be with for a while. Anyway, short little plug out of the way. So, bounce in the air after... Oh, see, I feel like I'm a little bit ahead of this game. <laughs> I've already figured out how to do that. Some games won't let you do certain things until it tells you how. But this game is just... I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're like me and you play around with the controls right off the hop to see what you can do, we've already figured this out. Not a big deal. But we already know how to... Oops how to do that. What's this? What are you? Is there something I can do with this guy? He, he looks like he's not well. Can I play you some music? I didn't even notice. How did I not notice that before? If you look, there's little doves that appear. They, the some of the um, is it this, just the beamed eighth notes? They just transition into not all of them, but some of them transition into little doves, and they just kind of dissolve. Again, just gorgeous. Oh wait, hang on. Let's get a good running start. There we go. What is that? A gold music note coin. Does that do anything? Okay. I don't know what that means. Is this something? Oh, no. This looks like it's something. There's a little... It looks like a wanted sign or a, a missing person sign. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Again, another one of these sad sacks. Hmm. Sticking and catapulting. This is new. Press right trigger near a cushion to stick to it with a violin bow. Then choose a direction with a direction pad. And press RT again to catapult yourself like a slingshot. Oh. Cushions. Huh. So, we aim. And we can't really choose. There's no granular control as far as uh, your your direction, what where you're aiming. It's just this way or this way. And then you press right trigger again, and... Okay, that's cool. There's another cushion here. So, where can we go? We can go down or up. I guess we want to go up. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Um... Where am I going? Oh, I guess I'm going this way. That's a fun way of booting around, actually. Getting the hang of it. Uh, more spiky things. So... Am I gonna go... Oh, I can't shoot against the opposite wall, so I'm guessing I'm just gonna fly over this? Oh, wait. Did I need... Oh, shoot. Ah, there we go. And again... What does this do now? Why is this coin following me? 
Didn't do that before. Okay, so I unlocked a C and a G. Sticking to the ceiling. Oh, cool. Stick on cushions placed on the ceiling by using RT near them. <laughs> this is how vampires do it, right? That was close. Whoa, 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 whoa. What does this say? What did that say? Welcome to... Oh. Does that say welcome to Symphonia? Who is that? Is that... That looks like Philemon. Um, yeah, because he's got that little uh, weird hairdo. The sort of eighth note ponytail, which... Hmm, okay. Wall sliding and wall jumping. Slide alongside the walls by falling next to them. Press A while sliding to jump from the wall. I th think I already... Yeah, this... Hang on a second, I want to see something. Okay, so because some games do wall jumping a little bit differently, I wanted to see how this handles it. You actually, once you start, you just need to... You don't have to actually aim where your jump is going to go. But it doesn't matter even if you try to, it will just jump the opposite wall. So it's actually pretty simple. So jump, 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 jump. No direction. I'm not using any direction for that other than for the first jump. So. Okay. Over the spikes. And then there's a cushion. Which I guess I didn't need to do that. Just throw myself at the floor. Right? There's nothing here I missed, is there? No? Okay. Okay, very simple wall jumping mechanics, but you don't need to overly complicate them. This looks like a great big organ. And what are these, newspapers? Whenever I see backgrounds that are this detailed, I try to see what I can learn from them. If there is anything to learn from them. Now here's another... This thing looks dead, because some of the creatures... I don't know what to call them. Oh, wait a minute. Right, so... I started off in a big concert hall. Looks, This looks like it could be like a ticket booth or something. Or like an concession stand? I don't know, because there's a dude in there, and he's not moving either. He's just part of the background. Hmm. And I do see gears, but they're not moving. What did I do? Oh! Oh, they're starting to move. Okay, so... Oh! Hmm. Music's getting a little louder, too. Is that clock moving now? Doesn't look like it. And this dude's still dead. And so is that guy. Although it's gotten a little brighter. <laughs> it is a little... There's a... Part of this is a little gruesome because there's basically just corpses being moved around. I can run as fast as the train. Okay, so we got another cushion here. So there's another cushion on the opposite side. And what's... I'm pretty sure there's nothing this way. <laughs> I just I couldn't see, so I had to try it. You never know where they're going to put a secret. I don't know if there are secrets in this game. But you always have to be prepared. What's this? So there's cushions below. And there's also this thing. What does this do? 
little percussion to help you on your way. Is that only one directional? Well, I can't reach it anyway. Oh, so those cushions below were just in case I didn't make that jump. And what's this? Releasing. Press right trigger without bending with the direction pad to simply let go of the cushion. Okay. Ah, all right. And another one of these doohickeys. I have to make sure there's nothing down here. Okay. All right. Is this something? Oh, that's a little statue of me. Hmm. Very regal. I didn't notice. Every single time you turn, his cape just kind of like flares out a little bit. That's kind of neat. Great character design, though. I mean, it's it's distinct. I don't think I've ever seen a character that looks quite like this in a game. Does he even have... Oh, he does have legs. It's just hard to see them. Bouncing with momentum. Keep bouncing with right trigger before landing to build momentum and overcome bigger obstacles. Well, I mean, we figured out how to do this right off the hop. Because when we were farting around. Uh, huh. Oh, was I supposed to... Oh. <laughs> Barely made that one. Oh, shoot. Okay. So I think I'm supposed to just keep bouncing. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is neat. Oh, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> What's this happened? Oh. Woodwind Glass House. And we hear some woodwinds. That really is pleasant. I wonder if the soundtrack will be included when you buy the game or if it's going to be like uh, separately available. It didn't mention anything on the Steam page, but I'm sure people are going to be asking for that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Right, this is a precision platformer. Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Oh, shoot. A little too much mustard. Oh, good. I could skip that at... Oh, so those are, how long does this last? One, two, three, three seconds. About that. Oh boy. So lots of thorns below. Hmm. Again, these, these backgrounds are just stunning. Wow. I am really am impressed. So how am I going to do this? Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, I didn't see those. Shoot. Whoosh. Okay. I think I had the right idea. Just get it in the middle. And then just hang out here for one, two, three. Oh. Poop. Maybe if I get it on the way... Nope, that won't work. Not with that timing, anyway. Oh! 
Almost, almost had it. Okay. Platforming is starting to get a little bit more challenging. There we go. What did we get? We got another C. What is it? Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, great. So, hmm. So we've got two different drafts here. We've got drafts that go up and down so far. So be quick. Oh. Oh, neat. Okay. Hmm. So let's launch ourselves into that draft there. Uh, that's, that's not how you do it. <laughs> okay. So quick, quick, quick. So, oh, it's timed. Okay. It's not just constantly on. There's that cushion. And then we just launch and stick to that. Oh, ooh. wait, is there, is there stuff up there? No. Okay. I thought again, I keep thinking in terms of like, where would you put a secret? Now, I believe the game is telling me that I need to go down because as soon as you move to past this point here, the camera's just like, here's where you want to go, fool. But I don't, I don't listen to no camera. Is there any way I can, no, there's nothing up there anyway. Nothing that I can reach anyhow. So slide, slide. Oh boy. So is this a constant updraft? It's not going to shut off on me as soon as I get in there, is it? No? Okay. So... Ooh. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Let's try this again. No, no, no. Whew. Hmm. Okay, going up. Um, what am I supposed to? Oh, duh. Okay, that's a thing. Apparently, you can bounce off of those drums, and those again are temporary platforms. <laughs> Jesus, what were those things? Oh shoot! You're not gonna let me see. Oh, I can't go back. Crap. So there's another type of temporary platform. Why are you zooming in so much? Hmm. Now I don't know what musical instrument is lined out at the bottom of the screen there. I don't know if it is. That's a lot of holes. It makes me think clarinet, but I can't be for sure. I can't be sure. Every time I think I know, uh, I mean, there's, there's just so many different types of musical instruments out there. <sighs> All right. How are we doing this? So we're going to, okay. That's not how we do it. So we have to wait until we reach the maximum height and then go over here and, Ooh. oh, All right. Let's think about this for a second. So once we get to the maximum height of the draft, we need to be moving to the next draft. But we can't stay there because then we'll just fall onto spikes in one way or another. So, da 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 da, up here. Uh, oh! Oh, we got a. Is that the last coin? All right. We got two C's and two G's. Does anything happen? Waiting for something to happen. No. Okay. So it may not be part of the demo. Oh, I can't move. What's going on? Wait a minute. I, 
didn't get a good look at that guy, but he had a... Oh, is that one of the, the dudes that you're supposed to find? Oh. <laughs> well, that was quick. Not a terribly long down. But I think that was one of the dudes that you're supposed to uh, have join your band. That was... Um... I always wonder, based on the length of the demo, how long the full game is going to be. And it, a lot of uh, a lot of times, it's really hard to find that information. Um, it it is a little on the short side as far as demos go, but I don't know if if this is so. Let's let's take the let's make the assumption that this is the first part of the game that we're being shown, right? And. I don't know how long it's going to... I mean... It's kind of hard to figure. Because you don't have a lot of information. So the best that you can do is guess. But you're already at the point where you're finding the first, por uh, first part of your... I'm calling them a quartet. Because it's just four different musicians total. Including Philemon. Oh. Where are you going, buddy? You taking off? All right. Sorry, Inky decided that he's got better things to do. So, let's assume that you find the four guys and that's not the whole game. And assuming that every single character that you find is like a, a few different biomes or whatever, if you want to call them that. I don't know. I would think... I would be surprised if this game is more than 10 hours. I'd be very surprised. I think this will probably... If I had to estimate, I would say this is probably going to be under 10 hours. But I don't know for sure. And I don't know what what replayability there will be afterwards. But that aside, I really enjoyed the demo. The platforming is fun. There's a few interesting mechanics, especially the, the whole cushion thing I thought was kind of neat. And um, I just I don't really know how much the the music outside of providing the atmosphere and I mean being part of the story I don't know how much the music actually is a part of the game or if it's just the the theme right speaking of music it is gorgeous I've been enjoying listening to it the whole time and I'm going to enjoy when I'm going through the editing of this and just listening to it all over again it is very very pleasant and I just wonder if there's a part where it just ramps up in intensity based on what you have to do. But yeah, I mean, it's, as far as platformers go, there were some challenges to it, but they didn't take me very long to overcome. But to be fair, I, I do play a lot of platformers, so somebody else might find this very challenging. But yeah, that was really, that was nice. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I just enjoyed looking at the scenery and just almost felt like I was in an art gallery. Yeah. I don't really have much more to say about it than that. I, I'm curious about the story that gets fleshed out a little bit more about what transpired, what all led to the point where you have to basically bring the world back to life through music. Because it go beyond just pressing a button to play music at a certain spot. Or is music just the vehicle of the story, right? It's just the overall theme, but it's not... Uh, I think that's probably the, the best I can come up with now for explaining it. <laughs> Which isn't very good, I know. 